ahead. So uh, once again, we're here with uh, one of our in uh, infamous uh, invasive species, mm -hmm. this time creeping bellflower. And as we suggested, it's one that uh, seems to creep its way into flower beds. Here we are at, uh, happens to be at my home. And I had no idea that this in fact was creeping bellflower. So let's just zoom over to it to have a look. So now this is uh, late August and you can see the number of seed pods here. So I'm gonna have some work ahead of me. For each one of these flowers, they used to be uh, covered in these uh, dainty little small purple flowers. And each one of those has turned out, turned into a seed pod. And I don't think that a uh, person needs to know too much about horticulture to realize that inside each one of these heads is a tremendous amount of seeds. So you can just see the, the uh, way that it's gonna produce very vigorously. Right, and then the other way too is, is obviously through its rhizomes. And these rhizomes are, they feel almost woody, but they're not quite woody. And so they, they will snap. And all those plants are connected. And so these rhizomes will keep creeping and then it'll pop up a new plant. And that's what's happened here. Well, I'm gonna have some work uh, pulling weeds and then perhaps uh, a little bit of a spraying program first thing uh, in the spring as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you for identifying those. Oh, sure, appreciate You're it. You're welcome. So while I have an expert here, I'm just going to get him to uh, show us the proper way to pull this rather tricky weed with all those uh, uh, rhizomes. Okay. So what's happened yesterday is we had a good amount of rain yesterday. So this is going to be, it's going to be a lot easier to pull any kind of root system when we've had uh, rain. So that the next day after a good rain is a good time to do it. Uh, if you want to, if you want to pull out plants, these are very young ones, so they're they're going to come out fairly easy. It's kind of nice that there's a mulch here, and sometimes they'll grow close to the mulch. So you see how that'll snap. What I uh, I try to usually do is is I use a fork to loosen the soil, and then that'll help pull it up a lot easier. These are much more difficult to pull up than say a, a quack grass. Quack grass also grows through rhizomes, and as you can see. What Grant has pulled up here is a whole bunch of root systems, and these are all fibrous root systems. And every one of those is called a node. And in some of those nodes, you can get a brand new plant just like this. Okay, so the best thing to do is to loosen all the soil around it and keep pulling up, keep pulling up. And then sometimes you'll have to dig into that soil and loosen up the, the soil a little bit, and you'll find some some remnants of some of those root systems. Well, everyone, that ends our another uh, segment on invasive species, the creeping bellflower. Ted, thank you very much for your time once again. You're welcome.